And then, um, I guess maybe she just had to get just big enough for this to start happening. But while we were in Branson, like a little bit, like if I was laying down for a while, but not asleep, you know, or um, sitting up for a long time, and then I stand up, it's like, it's like I could feel everything on the inside. It's like it kind of would shift down, like gravity, and it would be kind of painful, like um, underneath my stomach, you know, it just didn't feel good. It was like almost sharp, like, I don't know, it just didn't feel good. And I was kind of like, well, what is that? And it would go away, though, after a couple minutes. I finally figured out, I was like, it is, I think it's like the baby and all the stuff, it like shifts, so it puts pressure back down, and then once it, you know, everything adjusts, it kind of, there's still the pressure there, but you, you know, it doesn't hurt. So I was like, well, great. But then this, this past, you know, few days or whatever, it's gotten really bad, like it hurts a lot. And, um, ugh, I don't know, like it hurts so bad, like too, like it would hurt kind of in my groin area, like my pelvic area. And it hurts just like under the stomach, like when I say under, you know how like now the pregnant stomach's like cold, totally round and you could like practically get into shade underneath it, you know, it, like juts out from your, from your uh, body. Well, um, like that area hurts. And so, and I, and I kept thinking, well, it's gotta just be the ligament pain and the, uh, you know, uterus contracting to get bigger and all of that. But you know, up until this point I'd have pain sometimes, like, especially if I pulled or like stretched my abs up. But it was never like this, and this is just kind of like hurt, you know? And sometimes it would come in waves where I'd almost have to like just do that and like write it out. And so I was like, you know, is it normal? Is it not? Is it more than it should be? Is it, I, I didn't know, you know? But I finally, I didn't, you know, you hate to call the doctor because you know that they get all of those paranoid pregnant ladies who call them over every single thing. And I don't want to be one of those. But I also don't want to be one of those girls who like doesn't call when you need to, you know? But regardless, I looked it up first, and I just kind of typed in exactly what I've been feeling. And sure enough, it came up as textbook, like, pregnancy. Like, it just... And they said, yeah, it's your uterus is getting bigger and contracting, and um, it's putting pressure on your pelvis and your groin, and it's just everything was exactly what I was feeling. So I know it's normal, it's just not fun. And um, they actually said that a lot of women start getting it in just their third or fourth month. So in a way to like see the bright side, which you guys know I always try to see the bright side, is that, you know, at least it, I just started getting that pain a lot now. And, you know, I'm 22 weeks, so I can't complain, especially like if people have been having this a lot longer. So, but anyway, um, I don't like that though. That's not fun. Definitely like I told my husband, I was like, I'm feeling more pregnant, you know. And I, I think I just had to get to the point where I was bigger to start having some of the stuff that other people complain about. Um, I still don't have heartburn or anything, but I have had some acid reflux, so that's kind of... I had it a little bit, like, a, you know, I was getting starting to get it a little bit, but not bad, but it's kind of gotten a little bit more. But it's still not any... Like, I don't even need to take medicine for it yet. It's just, like, noticeable. I'm just kind of like, oh, I'm getting that. So, um, I don't know, but... So this all that started happening. And, uh, let's see, I think that's like my only symptoms, I mean, I'm definitely growing, <laughs> like, there's no denying that there's a baby in there now, so that's really cool, you know. Um, I think I'm gaining too much weight though, so I need to slow that down, and I don't really know how to slow it down though, it's like, bleh, cause I, it's like I, I know I need to not gain as much, or just like slow it down, but at the same time, it's like I don't care. <laughs> so, <laughs> whatever, I don't know, I just need to be more aware of that. And then, okay, so, this is definitely, I'm more cranky in this update, so I apologize. But it's just been like, I don't know, I think I'm finally getting some of those like, you know, every, even when I had annoying symptoms before, it was just like, I've never had it bad, ever. And I still don't have it bad, but this is the first time where I'm actually like, ugh, this is annoying, you know? So, um, I really, really, really sympathize for all of you ladies who've, like, been experiencing any kind of anything for a lot longer than me, because it stinks, so. Okay, but, I like, at the same time, you know what, though, it's not that bad, it's like I always say, you know, I still think I'm having one of the easiest pregnancies ever, and, okay, so, so now I want to tell you guys about what's going on, um, well, this is a really long entry about um, what's kind of upcoming. There's a lot going on. Okay, so uh, 
this weekend I'm going camping and tubing. And before anybody freaks out, I already like cleared it with the doctor. And I'm not like going down like rapids. <laughs> it's lazy tubing um, on the Guadalupe. So I'm really, ex really excited about that. I'm like so excited because the last time we went tubing, we just had the best time. And I'm just really excited. And uh, so yay. I know I don't look excited, but I'm stoked. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. And it's my sister and her husband, my sister-in-law and her fiancé, and my husband. You know, we're all going. So there's six of us, and I guess seven with the baby. Yay. So I'm, I'm just really excited. It's just going to be a lot of fun. But So that's that. That's this weekend, right? And then next weekend. So I never really talk about it much, but um, I think you guys have kind of gotten the clue that what... I norm I, I'm not really working right now um, because of the baby, but what I do for a living normally is I do work in film, and uh, so you know I, I work on movies and TVs and stuff, and, and um, I'm not going to really get into what I've done and everything because you guys can look it up if you wanted to know. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so next weekend we have this film competition that I've done for four years now. We always do, my production team always does really, really well at it. But it's uh, called the 40 Hour Film Festival. And you have to make an entire movie, including the soundtrack and the editing and everything, in just 48 hours. So it's like a race, you know? And it's a lot of fun. It's, um, it's very, very, very stressful. And you don't sleep much, you know? So... Usually I do two cities. I'll do Austin, Texas and the Houston one. Uh, this year I'm just going to do just the Houston one because I think I'll, I'd be too exhausted to do both. But um, I know like my mother-in-law several times has expressed concern. She's like, are you sure it's going to be okay? Like to the point now where I'm like, yes, get over it. It's fine. Um, but I do get her side though. She's just worried because you don't sleep. You know, you stay up like all night. But it's so much fun and it's so rewarding. And um... After, next week, I will send you guys, I'll put a link up to where you guys can go and see a few of the films that I've made um, and stuff that, and some things that have won things so you guys can see that because you've never really seen that side. But I'll do that next week because I don't want to worry about it this week. But anyway, so, um, and I usually do, people always ask me like what I like to direct. I like to direct comedies. That's what I usually do is, is comedy. So, because um, I just, <laughs> life's already too blah. Might as well have fun. But anyway, so that's the next weekend, is I have that competition. So that's probably going to be stressful, but what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to have one of my friends um, maybe use my little, not, you know, I have, obviously I have like big, expensive, you know, $3,000, $4,000 cameras that I'm using, but I'll use my little camera to have them maybe film some of the behind the scenes, so that would be cool to have a behind the scenes of this, you know, six-month pregnant lady director. <laughs> But anyway, and it is really neat, um, people who live in this area, you guys can actually come see it. It'll be at a movie theater, like the film. So, but like I said, I'll get into all that more next week. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that that's coming up. And why I'll probably be a little stressed and scatterbrained the next several weeks. Uh, excuse me. So, I am really excited about that too. Like I said, once again, don't look it. I'm kind of in a mood. So. <laughs> but yeah, so that's going on. And then I'm going to go and wrap this up because I've talked for like 20 minutes, so I apologize. I know this intro is pretty boring. It's just me like, blah, blah, blah. But, okay. Um, I think that's it for now. I told you guys about like all my symptoms, um, what's upcoming. And I'll show you the belly. Uh, I think that's it. Um, oh, really quick. Uh, if you guys... Um, had gone, looked at my last entry, if you gone to our website, um, to vote on the name. So we're still not sure which name we're going to pick. Um, I love both of the names, and so does my husband, but I think we might have a, a top choice now, but I'm not going to say it yet. I'm going to wait till we're sure. So anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, if you go to the website, you can see, like, the bedding and things like that that we picked out. I'm not going to put it up here, but you can go check it out there. I love it. It's got little birds on it, of course. And uh, I think that's it. So, anyway, I will see you guys next week at week 23. And I'll tell you about the camping trip and how that goes and maybe put up some footage. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I know this entry was probably kind of boring. Um, it's just chatting with chat chat. But I just, uh, I guess I had a lot of, like stuff to say. So anyway, I will see everybody next week and 
If you have any comments or questions, keep them coming because I'll answer them. I think I'm going to have a question and answer thingy soon because there's a lot of stuff people ask me. So, all right. So if you have any questions, get them up now so I can add them to that little segment. But all right. So bye, guys. I'll see you next week.